Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. How is everything going today? I'm very glad to say hello to Maritza Padilla, eh, Genaro, eh, Virginia, Hazel, Stephanie, Evis. It's eh, a pleasure to have you here, my dear participants. Tonight, eh, we are going to continue eh, to complete the section number two, and we are going to start in advance in the section number three, okay? Remember that we are going to have class tomorrow and coming Friday. So we we'll still have three days, three days of class. Tomorrow, I mean today, tomorrow, and coming Friday, okay? So let me start. Uh, let me start showing you the platform for you to see what we are going to work on tonight. So let me show you. Okay, uh, I will go back a little bit because we haven't uh, finished the section number two yet. So just let me go back. And we have uh, the knowledge check pending, okay? So Okay, last night we said that we will solve this knowledge check. Eh, ayer nos quedamos en que íbamos a resolver este knowledge check, ¿verdad? Con there is and there are. So the instruction says, eh, says it says, write each sentence, eh, write, write each sentence in a different way, selecting the correct words. For example, I don't have a table in the bedroom. No tengo una eh, silla en el, en el dormitorio, ¿verdad? Una mesa, perdón. There's no table in the bedroom. Vea que son las dos formas que tenemos para poder decir. ¿Verdad? Anteriormente habíamos estudiado el verbo have, tener. Luego, last night, anoche estudiamos there is, there are. So now, we can solve the exercise that says, eh, I have some chairs in the kitchen. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir eso de otra manera? Utilizando there is and there are. If I see... Chairs, plural. Entonces, ¿cuál debería usar? There are no, there's a, there are some, there's no. What do you think about? ¿Qué piensan? There are some. There are some. Very good. There are some uh, chairs in the kitchen. Very good. So, uh, I have a stove in the kitchen. So, only one, singular. And what's the other way to say it? ¿Cómo sería la otra forma de decirlo? There's no, there are some, there isn't. There's a. Oh, there's a. Mm -hmm. There's a. There's a stove in the kitchen. Very good. Number three. I don't have a refrigerator. There's a refrigerator. There are no refrigerator. There are some refrigerator. Oh, there's no. There's no. There's no, ¿verdad? There's no. Um, because it's only one refrigerator, so it's singular. I don't have curtains on the window. So how, how it should be the, the other way to say it? Uh, there's no curtains on the window. There are no curtains on the window. There are some curtains on the window or there, are, there aren't any. There's no. Okay. There's no, there's no, ¿verdad? Porque dice, I don't have curtains. Pero eh, como es plural, no sería there's no, sino, sino there are no. There are no curtains on the windows because it's plural, right? Okay, let's see. Number five. Uh, no. I don't have any rugs on the floor. So the other way to say it could be, there's no rugs on the floor or there are no rugs on the floor. There are some yeah. rats or there aren't any. There aren't, there aren't any. Okay. There aren't any. No. Vamos a ver. Mm. O será there are no. There are no. There are no rats on the floor. Let's check. Chequemos, ¿verdad? Let's check. Yes. No. <laughs> Tenía razón <laughs> la compañera, vea. Ahí está. There aren't any. Vamos a ver. Enviar. Ah, pero es que me va a dar malo porque tengo... No. There's no. There aren't any. 
there aren't any rocks on the floor. Ya vamos a ver eso, ¿verdad? Y todas las demás están bien. Ya vamos a ver some and any. Ahorita lo vamos a ver. Ha sido oportuno que hayamos ah, no. visto any. ese error para que veamos que sí, sí podemos trabajar con eh, there aren't any también. Ok, 2.10. Vamos a trabajar también en el 2.10. This is for you at home. Este lo van a desarrollar ustedes en casa, en la plataforma. But I want you to mention that it is here. Pero quiero mostrarles que aquí está, ¿verdad? It says, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details. So the idea is that you can read the paragraph. You can listen first and watch the video that says, reading uh, two special houses. So you will have a reading about two special houses. One house is located in San Antonio, Texas, and it belongs to Sandra Cisneros, right? So you will know more about this, and there are other a house that is purple color. So you will learn, and then you go to the 2.12 knowledge check that you have to complete, and it says, two special houses in the American Southwest. In San, Ant San Antonio, Texas, There's a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and color colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' a house are white or, or beige. So. Her house is very different. Uh, some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros love it, loves it. Okay, so if you see, we have, a, we have here a mix of has and there is, there are. ¿Verdad? Si usted ve en el párrafo, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí ya mezclamos, ¿verdad? Have or has, there is, there are, y fluye, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos usar las dos maneras para referirnos a que hay, ¿verdad? Hay algo, tenemos algo. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about the Native, Amer Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotel, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called uh, hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Nelson teaches uh, her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, very good. So that's the exercise. So you have to say, there is a, and you have to write. Aquí tenemos que escribir, ¿verdad? Todo lo que hay en la casa de, pero aquí está. Here it is. Aquí está. Three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds in the floor, wood burning stove. So you have to write it here. Lo tienen que transcribir acá, ¿verdad? Considerando, there is for singular uh, items, there are for plural items. And please be careful to use the right spelling. Aquí sí, por favor, vamos a ser cuidadosos de usar la escritura correcta, porque si, por ejemplo, en el wood burning stop, I omit the, the dash, it, it will be a mistake. Por ejemplo, si acá yo omito el guión, me va a dar error, ¿verdad? Entonces, please be careful in this exercise. So, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Teacher. Adelante. Sí. Eh, en ese yo tengo eh, una pregunta. Fíjese de que yo lo acabo de estar haciendo. Uh -huh. Y este, como ahí dice de que mencione el listado de cada casa. Entonces, este, yo las escribo, eh, la casa de, de Nelson y la casa de Lorey, parece que se llama. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, se las escribo y no me, los, no me las acepta. Lo que pasa es que ya están dadas. Por ejemplo, eh, aquí ya le dice qué es lo que tiene que escribir. Ah, en la casa ah, de Sandra está aquí. Y ajá. de igual manera en la casa de Lorraine, ¿verdad? Vaya, por ejemplo... Y tiene que chequear contra la lectura. Por ejemplo, Sandra Cisneros, there's a, comienzo a leer, ¿verdad? Y dice, there's a, ok, vamos a ver, there, uh, the house has a porch with a pink floor. Aquí dice, three chairs, many books, colorful painting, aquí, porch with a pink floor, ok. Uh, there, 
there is a, pero que probablemente le está dando el error porque ya aquí dice there is a, no tiene que volver a escribir there is, solamente la parte que falta, porch with a pink floor. With pink floor, ajá. Ajá, ok. Va, la siguiente, there are, entonces empiezo a ver. Oh, ah, no. three chairs, entonces ya no tengo que volver a escribir there are, sino solo así, three Pero, ah, chairs. Yeah, That's why, ok? Por eso probablemente le da el error. Let's try again. Let's try again. And if you have difficulties, you can chat. Uh, okay. And I, you can write to me, ok? Excellent. So I'm going to stop sharing here. Voy a dejar de compartir acá. Eh, vamos a dividir la clase en dos partes, ¿verdad? La primera es terminar la sección 2. La segunda es que vamos a iniciar la sección 3, ¿verdad? But there's something missing. Hay algo que se nos quedó pendiente de la parte 2, que es some and any, ¿verdad? Some and any. We use a and, eh, they are called modifiers. Se llaman modifiers, ¿verdad? Y nos sirven para determinar eh, la cantidad, ¿verdad? Es if we are talking about singular items or plural items. For example, a and. We use it for singular countable nouns. Los utilizamos para nombres que los, o, o sustantivos que los podemos contar de manera singular. I say, a, a plus a consonant sound, there's a bottle on the table. So there's no problem here because the next word starts with a consonant. An plus a vowel sound. There is an apple on the table. In this case, I need to add the N and say an because the next word starts with a vowel. So I say an apple because it could be sound, it could sound like wrong if I say there is a apple. No, tu cacófono, muy ca muy, mucha cacofonía, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos there is an apple on the table. Okay, what about some? And any plus plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién sabe qué son los countable nouns? Ya vamos a ir un poquito a ver eso. ¿Alguien que me pueda dar some examples? Could you give me some examples of countable nouns? I don't remember. Don't remember. Okay, don't worry. Countable nouns are the items that I can count individually. Los eh, sustantivos contables son aquellos que yo puedo contar la unidad. Por ejemplo, an apple, a banana, a computer, a cell phone, a card, etc. Eh, but eh, uncountable nouns are those that are too small or they are liquids or they are eh, gases or any other thing that I have to put in, into a measure. Y los nombres no contables son aquellos que Dada su conformación, eh, no los puedo contar individualmente, sino que los tengo que transferir a una unidad de medida. Por ejemplo, yo no puedo contar el azúcar. I cannot count the small pieces of sugar or the small pieces of rice. No puedo contar, por ejemplo, los pedacitos de azúcar, ¿verdad? Los granitos o los granitos de arroz, o el sand, o la arena, o water, o el líquido del agua. I have to move... Eh, to move that into a measure. Los tengo que poner en una unidad de medida. Eh, por ejemplo, a pound, una libra, si estamos hablando de algo sólido pero muy pequeño, eh, a kilogram, un kilogramo, or if I'm talking about liquids, eh, a bottle, una botella, eh, a liter, un litro, or a gal eh, galón, ¿verdad? Un galón, etc. So, that's the difference. Eh, esta es la eh, diferencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, más adelante lo vamos a ver. Ok, but now I want you to focus here. Nos vamos a enfocar aquí. For any affirmative sentence, I use some. Para las oraciones afirmativas, yo utilizo some cuando estoy hablando eh, de, eh, de este tipo de uncountable nouns. For example, there is some cheese in the fridge. Hay, hay queso en el refrigerador. Hay algo de queso en el refrigerador. But I don't know how, how much. If a slice, two slices, one pound, I don't know. No sé, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto exactamente tengo de queso? Any. There isn't any cheese in the fridge. In, in this case, it's for negative. Vea que any lo utilizamos básicamente for negatives and questions. 
and when I say there isn't any cheese in the fridge, estoy diciendo no hay queso en el refrigerador. Is there any cheese in the fridge? Aquí estoy preguntando. ¿Hay algo de queso en el refrigerador? So, remember this formula. Si podemos, tomémosle una, una, una screenshot a esta, eh, to this eh, slide because this is key. Esta es clave de este slide. Eh, because it summarizes, porque resume, ¿verdad? Affirmative, some, negative, any, questions, any. Ok, so I'm going to send it to you now. And if you can take a better picture than mine, it's going to be okay. Okay, again, for affirmative, eh, I also can use a an. También puedo utilizar a an para nombres contables singulares. ¿Por qué contables? Because a an means uno, ¿verdad? There's a bottle on the table. Hay una botella en la, eh, sobre la mesa. There's an apple on the table. Hay una manzana sobre la mesa. So it's singular countable. Singular y lo puedo contar. Countable plural. Contable plural. Some, any. Eh, some for affirmative, any for negative, and any for questions. And for uncountables, also I can say some for affirmative, any for negative, and any for questions. For example, eh, I have some exceptions. Tenemos algunas excepciones eh, con lo que sería some. Hemos visto que some solo se utiliza para afirmativos. No se usa para negativo, no se usa para preguntas, a excepción de la siguiente. I can use some in questions when I offer something. Puedo utilizar eh, some para hacer una pregunta cuando únicamente le estoy ofreciendo algo. Would you like some water? Would you like some tea? Excuse me, sir, would you like uh, something to eat? Eh, pero en este caso ya nos cambia, ya no es some, ¿verdad? Would you like some, I don't know, some tea, some water, some coffee? Okay. Thank you for the image, Hazel. Gracias, Hazel. Entonces vemos que solamente en este caso yo utilizo some para preguntas. Or when I'm asking for. Can I take some cookies? ¿Puedo agarrar algunas galletas? ¿Ok? Or when I suggest, why don't we eat some uh, cupcakes? ¿Ok? ¿Por qué no comemos algunos panecillos? ¿Por qué no comemos algunos bollitos? ¿Verdad? Eh, como manera de sugerencia, ¿verdad? Why don't we eat uh, some burgers? ¿Por qué no nos comemos algunas hamburguesas? Por ejemplo. Ok, let's continue. Uh, some and any. Some is generally used in positive affirmative sentences, as I said before. There are some flowers in the vase on the table. Can it some medicine? And the exceptions to the rule that I said before is some can also be used in questions. Or uh, if you're offering something to someone or asking something by thinking that the answer is yes, or you hope such answer. Would you like some coffee? You expect that I say yes, please. Any. Any is generally used in negative sentences. There aren't any students in the school. No hay estudiantes en la escuela. I don't want to drink any fruit juice. No quiero beber jugo de fruta. Any is using, used in questions. Do we have any bread in the house? ¿Tenemos pan en la casa o algo de pan en la casa? He hasn't received any emails yet. Él no ha recibido ningún email todavía. The exceptions to the rule. Hay todavía excepciones a la regla en el caso de any. Vea. Any can only be used in positive sentences if it is used with a conjunction. And eh, as if. And whether. Okay. Eh, well. Uh, always help you, uh, will always help you if you have any problems or trouble. Uh, solamente podemos utilizar any, únicamente si utilizamos la condicional if, ¿verdad? Uh, la oración dice, will always help you, siempre te ayudaremos if, si, solamente si, you have any problems or trouble, si tienes algún problema o dificultades. 
Okay, some and any again. Some is generally using positive affirmative sentences. Example, I asked her to lend me some money. Eh, le pedí eh, que me diera prestado algo de dinero, ¿verdad? Vea que lend es cuando alguien me da prestado y borrow es cuando yo pido autorización para agarrar algo, ¿verdad? Para tomar algo. Vea que two verbs eh, quite different. Some can be used anywhere in a sentence. También podemos utilizar, eh, lo podemos utilizar, la palabra some, en cualquier lugar de la oración. Vea que eh, en la oración de arriba dice, I asked her to send, to lend me some money. Está en el medio. But I can start the sentence with some. Puedo iniciar la oración con some. For example, some of my friends can speak English well. Algunos de mis amigos pueden hablar inglés muy bien. O bien, ¿verdad? Some is not generally using a question. No se utiliza generalmente en preguntas. Only in the exception to the rule. Solo en la excepción. When you ask questions, if you're offering something to someone or asking for something by thinking that the answer is yes. Solamente cuando usted pregunta, ofrece algo y usted cree que la respuesta va a ser sí. ¿Verdad? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Some can be used with uncountable and plural countable nouns. Este se utiliza con ambos, ¿verdad? Con los nombres o sustantivos que puedo contar y con aquellos que no, y los tengo que trasladar a una unidad de medida. He made some mistakes. ¿Cuántos errores? I need to count them. Necesito contarlos, ¿verdad? Any. Any is generally used in negative sentences. Example, I will not see him anymore. No lo veré más. Exceptions to the rule. Any can only be used in positive sentences if it is used with conjunctions. Como ya les dije, solamente con la conjunción if and uh, whether. Will always help you if you have any problems or troubles. Any cannot be used at the beginning of the sentence. No podemos iniciar una oración con any, ¿verdad? Any is used in questions. Are you allergic to any medicine? ¿Eres alérgico a alguna? En este caso, toma, ya no toma el, el meaning de ninguna, sino de alguna. ¿Eres alérgico a alguna medicina? Any can be used with uncountable and plural countable nouns. De igual manera que son, lo podemos utilizar con nombres que podemos contar y nombres que eh, no los podemos contar en plural. En este caso, ¿verdad? Countable plurals and uncountable. You can borrow any books of me. Puedes tomar prestados algunos libros míos, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, some is used to mean a little and few. Some puede tomar el significado de poquito o unos cuantos. Also, some can be used with both, countable and uncountable nouns. Como ya dijimos, lo puedo usar con ambos, ¿verdad? When used with countable noun, it means a few. Cuando lo estamos utilizando con nombres que podemos contar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, significa unos cuantos. When used with uncountable noun, it means, it means a little. Cuando lo usamos con nombres que eh, no se pueden contar por unidad, significa un poquito. Some, when used with countable nouns, eh, nouns are plural and we use with uncountable noun, they are always singular. Vea que cuando utilizamos eh, son con nombres que los puedo contar, normalmente son en plural. Pero cuando lo usamos con un countable nouns, que no los puedo contar individualmente, normally they are eh, always singular. Tiene un significado singular. Por ejemplo, some is generally using positive affirmative sentences. I asked her to lend, to lend me some money. I have got, vea que eh, en este caso es uncountable some money, algo de dinero, ¿verdad? Singular. I have got some money in my purse. Tengo algo de dinero en mi bolsa. ¿Cuánto? How many? How much? Excuse me. I don't know. No sé cuánto, ¿verdad? I need to count. Lo necesito contar en papel moneda. Dólares, colones, balboas, I don't know. She needs some medicine. Uh, she needed some medicine yesterday, but we didn't find any open uh, pharmacy last night. Ella necesitaba algo de medicina ayer y um, no, eh, no encontramos ninguna farmacia abierta eh, anoche. Sí. 
think. Um, she needs some medicine yesterday, but we didn't find. We will bring some friends to the party next week. Uh, algunos amigos me llevarán, vea, we will bring some friends, llevaremos a algunos amigos eh, a la fiesta eh, la próxima semana. I don't know, I can count them maybe. Eh, so let me advance. Exceptions to the rule, you already know. Las excepciones a la regla ya las sabemos. Only when we offer, solo cuando ofrecemos, ¿verdad? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Or would you like some more coffee? O cuando le estoy ofreciendo más, ¿verdad? Ya eh, le, le di, pero le digo, would you like some more? ¿Verdad? ¿Te gustaría algo, un poco más de café? Eh, y la respuesta yo espero que diga sí, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Ok, eh, next. Uh, can you give me some apples? Request. Aquí estoy pidiendo. How about some tea? Su suggesting. ¿Podemos tomar algo de té? May I have some of your cakes? Asking, pidiendo. ¿Puedo tener algunos de tus pastelitos? Only those are the exceptions to the rules. Esas son las excepciones, ¿verdad? Okay, he wants some sugar. Vea, uncountable. Él quiere algo de azúcar. I don't know if one tablespoon, no sé si una cucharadita, two tablespoons, no sé. There are some evidences. Countable. Hay algunas evidencias. Aquí sí las tengo que contar. I can count. I would like to give you some advice. Uncountable. Me, daría, me gustaría darte algún consejo. There are some horses in the farm. Hay algunos caballos en la, en la granja. Countable. Entonces vea que este último ejemplo is show us that you can use with uncountable and with countable. Ok. Eh, any. Any is used to mean no or zero in some cases. Any can be used with both, countable and uncountable names. When it is used with countable nouns, they are always plural. When it is used with uncountable nouns, they, are be, they be, always become singular. For example, any is generally used in negative sentences. I will not see him anymore. No lo veré más. There isn't any butter. No hay nada de mantequilla. There aren't any clothes in the wardroom. No hay nada de ropa en el guardarropas. We don't have any money. No tenemos nada de dinero. Okay, again, the exception, only if you use if. We will always help you if you have any problems of travel. I'm not sure if or whether the teacher gave any homework. No sé si el maestro dio o dejó alguna tarea, ¿verdad? If you have any problems, please call me. Si tienes algún problema, por favor llama. I will, I will take what you want if you do, if you do any good things. Eh, tomaré lo que tú quieras. Si... If you do any good things, si haces eh, las cosas bien, ¿verdad? Okay, now is your turn to practice. So, let, let us complete it. Vamos a completarlo acá. Eh, for example, it says, um, fill in the blanks below to complete the sentences, use some or any. Remember, statements, you use some. No matter if they are count, uh, plural, uh, or uh, countable. Any for negative and any for questions, okay? So the note one says, with questions in which we expect the answer to be yes, we use some instead of any. Example, could you please give me some bananas? I expect that the answer is yes, please take it. Uh, some common and countable nouns include, algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? De nombres que, de, o de sustantivos que no podemos contar by themselves or individually, individualmente son coffee. Yo tengo que decir, ¿verdad? A cup of coffee, two cups of coffee. Food, eh, tengo que definir eh, home, what type of food, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tipo de comida? To count the pieces, para contar las, las piezas. Help. Ayuda, homework, information, milk, money, eh, paper. Vea que money puede ser confuso porque usted dirá, ¿y por qué no se puede contar el dinero? Claro que sí se puede contar. Yes, 
but you need to move to a um, currency. Lo tenemos que mover a una moneda, ¿verdad? Dollars, eh, soles, balboas, euros, ¿ok? But meanwhile is money. Mientras tanto es dinero. I don't know how much. No sé cuánto, ¿verdad? Paper, rice, salt, soup, sugar, tea, time, water. Ok, now is your turn. Ahora es su turno, ¿verdad? I'm going, uh, I would like that you can take a picture, if you can. Me gustaría que puedan tomar una imagen. Maybe better than mine, tal vez mejor que la mía, but I will share anyway. And I want you to please invite you to the breakout rooms and that you go and that you answer the, from number two to seven. Voy a invitarles a los breakout rooms y que podamos trabajar de la 2 a las 7. We will have three minutes for that. Vamos a tener tres minutos to complete the exercise. Some, any. Okay, please join. It, now it's your turn to practice. Thank you, Brandita. Much better than mine. Okay, please join. Hey, Sel, my dear Carlita, if you have a problem joining, let me know. Para quienes tengan dificultades al unirse a los breakout rooms, me lo hacen saber. And I can resend the invitation. Maritza and Hazel. Maritza and Hazel. If you have difficulty joining the group, you can remain here and try to connect yourself here by the chat, using the chat. Hazel y Maritza, si tienen dificultades para unirse a sus grupos, eh, pueden quedarse trabajando aquí en el salón principal and you can use the chat. Pueden utilizar el chat para comunicarse entre ustedes, just in case you have audio problems. Ok, I will come back. Regreso. I will go to supervise the groups. Hello, is everything ok here? ¿Vamos bien por acá? Uh, 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 in playing. Starting, empezando, ¿verdad? Start, start, start. Ok, you can start and if you need me, you can call me, ¿ok? Eh, okay. Revisen y si me necesitan, me llaman. I will be around the groups. Voy a estar eh, alrededor de ustedes en los grupos. Gracias. Ok, see you in a minute. Ok, la primera sí, dice... Our teacher didn't give... Ahí... Um, sería some... Some home, homework yesterday. Remember, hi, may I help you? Remember that any is for negatives, right? Recuerden que usamos any oh, para una oración yes. negativa, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> so you remember that some is for affirmative and any is for negatives mm -hmm. and questions. Okay. Y some tiene excepciones, ¿verdad? Lo utilizo cuando voy a ofrecer algo, a sugerir algo o a pedir algo, ¿sí? Solo en esos okay. casos lo utilizo como excepción en... En preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok, see you in a minute. Okay. Perfect. Hola. Hello. No escucho. No sé por qué. Hi, my dear. Adrianita, eh, you were already in class with us. Usted ya es que tú 
estaba así, que estaba en la computadora y, y, y el, el Zoom como que me dice que no responde y me metí del teléfono ahorita. Ok, ahorita, ahorita la mando a un salón, no se preocupe, Adrenita. En este Thank momento, you. you're welcome. Ahorita le va a llegar la invitación de nuevo. Ahí le, le mandé de nuevo, Adriana. Ok. Ningún trabajo este día. No sé, Somme sería nuestro maestro, no me dio. Ningún trabajo sería Somme. Sería Eni. Ninguno, nada. Eni, yes, hello, may I help any. you? Any. Just remember that any is for negatives and questions. And some only for affirmative. Recuerden que son solo es para afirmativa, ¿verdad? Y any es para preguntas y negativos. Entonces, si la oración es negativa, es any, ¿verdad? Ajá, se quejan. Sí, y recuerden que son tiene excepciones para ir en preguntas, but only if you're offering or suggesting something. Son se utiliza en preguntas de manera excepcional solo cuando estamos ofreciendo algo o sugiriendo algo. Gracias. Okay, Gracias, teacher. Welcome. See you in a couple of minutes. La primera, la número, la A, sí sería, sería N y la B sería SOM. No. Ay, no está, está. Hi, may I help you? Hi, teacher. Yes. Uh, number five. Okay. Do, do they have, uh, en, en ambos casos sería any. ¿Sí? Any. Uh, any. Sí, any. sí porque uh -huh. eh, recuerden que utilizamos any for questions and negatives. Utilizamos any para preguntas y negativos, ¿verdad? Sí, es, porque la A está haciendo una pregunta y la B tiene una, una negativa. Exacto. Y SOM lo utilizamos para preguntas only in exceptional cases. Solo en casos excepcionales, ¿verdad? When we are offering or suggesting something and we expect the answer, it's going to be yes. Solo cuando ofrecemos algo o sugerimos algo pensando que la persona que no, a quien le ofrecemos o le sugerimos nos va a decir que sí. ¿Verdad? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some tea? Eh, nada más, ¿verdad? Mm, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. See you again. Nosotros. Yes. Yes. Um, our teacher didn't give up Give, it, give us any homework yesterday. Okay. Number four, I'm tired. Do we have some time to take a nap? Hello, hello. We're coming back from a practice. So people is going to join us in a couple of seconds. Um, no va, vamos, estamos regresando de una práctica, chicos. So we are going to close our rooms now. Vamos a cerrar los, los salones de práctica, the breakout rooms. And we are going to solve the exercise together. Vamos a resolver el ejercicio juntos, ¿verdad? So let me share. Vamos a compartir. And I will need some volunteers. Excuse me, I, I will share again. Vamos a compartir de nuevo. And I will expand in order that you can watch the answers. Vamos a expandirlo para que ustedes vean las respuestas. Okay, I will need a volunteer for number two. How was the answer? ¿Cómo nos quedó la respuesta en el number two? He doesn't have any or some. Any. Any, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué utilizamos any? Because it's a negative sentence. I will write in capital letters, lo voy a escribir en mayúscula, only for you to watch. Solo para que lo vean, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes saben que no mezclamos eh, mayúsculas con minúsculas. No, eh, no small letters in 
uh, mixed with capital letters. He doesn't have any pens, but I have any or some. What do you think about? Some, some, uh, some. because after this uh, comma, this is an affirmative sentence. Porque después de esta coma es una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Okay, our teacher didn't give us some or any homework. Any. any. Why? Any. Why is any? Why do you think it's any? Be because he didn't. Yeah, because it's a negative sentence. Excellent. Very good. I'm tired. And then it's a question. We, do we use some or any? Any. Okay. Any. ¿Verdad? Porque es una pregunta. I'm tired. Do we have any time to take a nap? ¿Tenemos algún tiempo para tomar una siesta? Me siento cansado, ¿verdad? I'm tired. Me siento cansado. Okay. Do, do they have some or any? Any. Any. Any, ¿verdad? Do they have any library cards? Eh, because it's a question. Es una pregunta, ¿verdad? And in the other one, no, they don't have? Any. Any, because it's a negative. Okay, number mm -hmm. six. Paul, Paul wants to buy some or some, any? Some. Some. Some, some new shoes. shoes. Okay, very good. Because it's an affirmative. So we use some. Excuse me, I need... Some information. Yeah, some information mm -hmm. about the flight to Boston. So it's an affirmative sentence. Es una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Therefore, we use some. Okay, very good job, my dear participants. So let me, adelante. Eh, um, use, 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 ¿cuándo se va a utilizar? No, escucho muy bien. No, no. Eh, which one? Eh, ¿Cuál? No, en este caso, uso, s, us, s, u, s, e, s, e, solamente, eh, ¿Qué significa esa parte? Solamente oh. íbamos a utilizar el son y el any. Sí, ese use es el verbo, eh, que es ah. parte de la instrucción, que dice utilice son o any. Por eso les he puesto comillitas, para que usted sepa que solo con esas dos palabritas va a trabajar. Ok, okay very good, great job. Ok, uh, the, la, the last exercise, vamos a hacer el último ejercicio de acá, because I need Sorry. to... Sorry, solo quiero ver la última vez la pantalla para verificarlo. Yes, yes, please, yes, please. I'm going to expand it. Se la voy a expandir, just in case you want yes. to see the picture. Okay. There you go. Ahí la tienen, chicos. Are you done? It's already? Yes. Taken? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Okay, now let's let's continue. Aquí habían más, ¿verdad? I don't have. Hagámoslo juntos. I don't have a paper, but Mary. Some. Okay. Pero es negativa, entonces. Any. Any. Any, any ¿verdad? Any. Okay. Any. I don't have any paper, but but Mary has. Some, 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 after the comma, porque después de la coma es afirmativa. Entonces digo, but Mary has some. some. Mr. Smith has questions that he wants to ask you. Any or some? Some, 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 some. some because it's an affirmative question, okay? They have apples, but they don't have bananas, so? In the first one, what do you think it is? Some. some. Okay. Some. They have some. some apples, but they don't have? They have any bananas. Any bananas. Because eh, después de la coma, en este caso, es una negación, ¿verdad? <coughs> they don't have any bananas. God bless you. I'm sorry, but we don't have? Any. Any more tickets because it's a negative, right? So let me copy and paste and continue. Oops, it me so. Permítanme, chicos. Ay, se fue. Permítanme. 
Ok. I don't know why I did. No sé qué hice. Ok. There you go. Ahí está. Thomas read interesting books last, last month. Tom. Tom. Tom, right? Because it's an affirmative sentence. Ok. So, ay. Está bien sensible mi mouse y no tengo mi mouse auxiliar, así que me van a disculpar. Ok, I bought milk and sugar at the supermarket. Ok, in both cases, right? En ambos casos, ¿verdad? Okay. In both cases. Do you have points for the bus? Some. Mm, it's a question. Any. 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 Okay. Do you have any coins for the bus? And the answer, what do you think? Any. 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 Because it's negative, right? No, I don't have any. I need help with my homework. Some. Some. Some because it's affirmative. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So if you want to take a picture, I can expand the, the view. For you to have more examples, para que les queden más ejemplos, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo tomar la foto con esto. Ok, you say when it's already done, me avisan, si no yo se las mando. But I don't know, because of my light angle, por mi ángulo de luz la pantalla es un poco oscura, porque procuro verme yo un poco más iluminada para ustedes. So if someone can share a better picture than this one, it's going to be okay. Okay, I appreciate that. Let's continue. Okay, we are going to stop sharing. Vamos a dejar de compartir esta parte. And in the time we have left, I'm going to introduce the new topic. Voy a introducir el tema for tomorrow. So um, as you said, um, Excuse me. Let me go. Vamos a ir a la plataforma de nuevo because I want to connect. Quiero conectar el tema. Okay, we are going to start section three. So today, uh, the minutes we the minutes we have tomorrow and Friday, we are going to complete the section three. Ahorita como ya agarramos ritmo, verdad? Eh, en, vamos a trabajar la sección tres en la ciudad de hoy, mañana y el viernes. Because we need to finish the midterm exam this weekend, ¿verdad? Este fin de semana vamos a completar lo que sería el examen de medio periodo. Exam. And then um, we are going to uh, continue with the section four next week. La siguiente semana cubriríamos lo que es la sección dos. Eh, and the last one, eh, y la última semana, section five, ¿verdad? So, so uh, in this... Um, Section three, it says, by the, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describe the activities that different jobs do. Te voy a poner un ratito mute, chicos, para que nos podamos escuchar. Y después ustedes lo pueden quitar. Okay, uh, here you have a video that says jobs, vocabulary, and activities. So I recommend you to watch it, to listen, because it will improve your listening and pronunciation. Uh, we will have a knowledge check, but uh, in this case, I want you to expand the view. Para hacer este knowledge check, tenemos que expandir el dibujo, ¿verdad? Uh, dice, uh, in the first, we have a doctor, a nurse, and a receptionist. What his job? And so if you remember, in the unit number one, we learn about... Um, Possessive eh, adjectives, ¿verdad? En la unidad 1 aprendimos los possessive adjectives y aprendimos que his es su de él y her es su de ella. So, when the question says, what's his job? Eh, ¿De qué es su trabajo? He's a receptionist. Él es un recepcionista. What's her job? ¿De qué, eh, de qué es su trabajo? ¿Verdad? ¿O cuál es su trabajo? She's a doctor. What's her job? She's a nurse. Okay, so this is the example. But in the number two, what's his job? So how it should be the answer here? Uh, here. I say, 
aquí y vea cómo está el ejemplo. Aquí es importante que consideremos el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Si lo tenemos en contractado en el ejemplo, it means that you have to work with the contraction. So I say, if I say, if you, I read his job, I'm talking about him. Si dice his job, estoy hablando de él, ¿verdad? Entonces digo, he's a pilot. Y aquí nos va a servir lo que dijimos, ¿verdad? De los eh, a an, ok. Letter A, eh, letter 5A. What's her job? Entonces yo digo, she's, she's. a flight. Y, nos, y cuidamos flight. bien, ¿verdad? El spelling. Aseguramos que está bien escrito. We don't left additional spaces. No dejamos espacios adicionales para que no, te, no nos dé error. She's a flight attendant. Ella es una aeromosa. And then we continue with the next one. Singer, musician, musician, excuse me. What's his job? In this case, I'm talking about him. So I say he's a musician. What's her job? I'm talking about she. So I say she is singer. She is a singer. Because if you see in the example, porque si ven el ejemplo, sí estamos utilizando el quantifier A, ¿verdad? El que acabamos de estar estudiando. Singular. So I say, she's a singer. Singer. Mm -hmm. singer. Okay. Let's say, let's, let's do the other ones. We have a judge, we have a lawyer, and we have a police officer. Okay. So what's her job? We are talking about she. So I say, she is, she is a judge. A Ella es una jueza, judge. ¿verdad? A judge. Good. Uh, what's his job? I'm talking about, let's see. Police officer. Eh, police officer. Sigamos la lógica de los numbers, ¿verdad? So, the, so I say, he is a police yes. officer. officer. Okay. Yes. And we take care of the spelling. Y cuidamos el spelling, ¿verdad? What's his job? He is a, a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer, ¿ok? Pero se escribe con A. Entonces yo lo escribí como se pronuncia. A lawyer, ¿ok? Se escribe con A, pero esa A, A, W suena O. Lo. ¿Verdad? Lo, O, lawyer. 11, cook, eh, chef, eh, 12, waiter, 13, waiters. Vea que waiter es el masculino y waitress el femenino. So what's his job? I'm talking about him. So I say he, his, right? A cook. Eh, o puedo decir chef, pero solo, solo voy a utilizar uno, ¿verdad? What's his job? I'm talking hey, about hey. So, he's a, a, waiter, waiter. a waiter, okay? Mesero. What's her job? She, she. She is a? Waitress. Waitress, okay? Okay, so be careful with the symbol of uh, apostrophe. ¿Verdad? Tengamos cuidado con el apóstrofe para que no nos vaya a dar error. Ok, number 15. Cashier, salesperson, security guard. So, what's his job? 14. She. She. Pero dice his. So, we are talking about the man. Estamos hablando del caballero, ¿verdad? The lady is a client. Yes. So, I say his. Yes. person. 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 Okay, what's her job? In this case, we are talking about the lady, the cashier. So we say she's, she's a cashier. Okay, and the last one. Uh, what's her job? So we say his. his. Sí, es security, security, security work. Yeah. Security work. Yeah, security work. Security work. 
Okay. And then I say send and let us check. Ah, me dio un error. ¿Por qué me dio el error? She is. era teacher. She is. Al, al principio. Es, es señorita. She is. Ah, es señorita. She. Es una chica. Sí. <laughs> Se dan cuenta. <laughs> yes, it's a lady. Okay, let's end. Yes, <laughs> that's why. Look, because uh, he's a lady. So, yeah. Yeah, it's her job. Sí, es cierto, her job. So, all of them are correct. So, is it clear about the knowledge check? ¿Está clarito cómo vamos a hacer el knowledge check? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and I will share some vocabulary. Voy a compartir algo del vocabulario and then tomorrow we are going to have a practice. We have other additional uh, professions or occupations, uh, like, uh, for example, office worker, computer programmer, veterinarian, street vendor, factory worker, politician, let me show you, tour guide, entrepreneur, ballet dancer, astronaut, minor, teacher, real estate agent, Bellboy, gas station attendant, judge, customs officer, lawyer, cashier, taxi driver, speaker, delivery man, butcher, pharmacist, receptionist, plumber, musician, chef, baker, artist. Okay, so here we have a waiter, a paramedic, a dentist, a train conductor, a nurse, electrician, doctor, businessman, American football player, student, surgeon, doorman, secretary, soldier, repairman, scientist, reporter, construction worker, professor, police officer, postman, photographer, pilot, Catholic nun, painter, Mechanic, magician, lifeguard, lunchroom supervisor, clown, housekeeper, gardener, geisha, footballer, forest ranger, builder, foreman, farmer, flight attendant, fireman, engineer, carpenter, architect. Okay, so tomorrow um, we are going to work with uh, the simple present tense, mañana vamos a trabajar con professions y el tiempo presente simple. For example, a teacher works in a school. A police office guides the traffic. If you see, we are using the third person singular rule. Si se fija, estamos utilizando la regla de la tercera persona singular because we are talking about a third person. So, a veterinarian works with pets. A dentist works in a clinic, a doctor checks patients, a chef cooks delicious meals. She's my friend Roxana. She works at Toro Goz. She's a designer. Okay, if you ask me, for example, I say, my name is Patricia. I work at Coca-Cola, just to mention a name. I work in the production department. I supervise soft drink production. I supervise staff. I work for Mr. Sine. I am a customer service agent. I work as a system. I do design. So for tomorrow, your homework is to bring something like this. Para mañana la tarea es que usted pueda contarme, utilizando un ejemplo como el que yo tengo acá, what is your job about? ¿De qué se trata su trabajo? ¿Verdad? You can take a picture if you want. I'm sending it to you now. Se lo voy a enviar al grupo. And I want that for tomorrow we can start the class eh, and everyone is going to do this introduction. Mañana al inicio de la clase cada uno de ustedes se va a presentar de esa manera, ¿verdad? Van a decir, my name is, su nombre, I work at, trabajo en X lugar. You, if you don't want to say your real workplace, it's okay. Si usted no quiere mencionar su lugar de trabajo eh, verdadero, está bien, puede utilizar otro. Um, I work in, 
and, and you say the department, you mentioned the department, and explain what you do. Y nos dice, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hace? I supervise offering, or I supervise production, or I do accountancy, or whatever. Uh, I work for, en nombre de su jefe, ¿verdad? Uh, and then, uh, you can say, I am, uh, for example, salesperson, or a customer service agent, or I'm, I'm as an assistant, or I work as assistant, right? Okay, my dears, do we have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No, teacher. Okay, I am very happy to have you here tonight. Uh, I hope to have you here tomorrow in order that we can advance with the section number three. Remember that if you have questions, you can write to the chat or directly to me and I can help, okay? Be safe, good night, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good Take night. care, bye-bye. Thank good you, teacher. Night. Good night. Bye-bye, good night.